Looking at this brand model, I'm going to run through just a quick structural overview, not going into any of the functionality of the structures. The rest of the brain videos, the ones that are broken down by different regions of the brain, will have more of the functionality. So for starting with the brainstem, we'll start with the medulla oblongata, then up into the pons right here. The part just above that is going to be the midbrain. Now keep in mind that the medulla, the pons, and the midbrain all connect to the cerebellum right here via the inferior, middle, and superior cerebellar peduncles. You can also see in the cerebellum here these white lines. Those are the aura vitae. They see white tracks running through the cerebellum. Moving back then to the midbrain region, you can see this little line going down. That is the cerebral aqueduct. Just posterior to that, these two bumps are going to be parts of the corpora quadrigemina. The superior bump is the corpora quadrigemina, called the superior colliculi. The inferior bump is the inferior colliculi. Moving just anterior to the brainstem, you can see the pituitary gland here, with its infundibulum, that little white line, which connects up to this hypothalamus region right here. The hypothalamus also helps to connect right here to the optic chiasma. Just above the hypothalamus and above the brainstem, you're going to have this roughly oval-like area. This is going to be the thalamus. With right at the very tip in the back, you're going to have the epithalamus. Also, that's where you find the pineal gland. Coming just above that, this whole white matter is going to be the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is just above what would be the indent here, but right now what you're seeing is the membrane covering it. This membrane is the septum pellucidum, but if you went through that membrane, you would then find the lateral ventricle behind that. Shifting to a lateral view, we're going to see the different lobes. We have the frontal lobe. We have the parietal lobe, which is more up top. We have the occipital lobe in the back. We have the temporal lobe on the side. You can see a portion of the cerebellum right here. You can also see a little bit of the brainstem down here, the medulla, with its olive out here, the structure, and then the pons right here. We can tell the frontal lobe and parietal lobe are separated by this indent called the central sulcus. The central sulcus, just anterior to it, is the pre-central gyrus. This is going to house the primary motor cortex. That's where a majority of your voluntary movements initiate. Just behind or posterior to the central sulcus, is going to be the post-central gyrus. The post-central gyrus is where you house the primary somatosensory cortex.